video I'm going to show you how to link your categories in your blog section as a drop down. So if we go into pages, you will see something a little bit strange. So I've got a folder with links. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So what this looks like is you hover over blog and then here you've got each of the categories so you could click on a category and it would take you specifically to that category and it would just load posts that are tagged in that category. So here we've got business growth that will load here in a second. Um, and the other thing that I've done here is if you hover over blog here we go, if you hover over blog and then typically when you set up, this is called a folder typically when you set up a folder when you click right here it's going to take you to the first thing on your drop down which is automation um, but I have linked it to where when I click on blog here if I just click that it's going to take me to my main blog page which is kind of your overview page of all of your blog posts and it's going to show my most recent blogs all of the categories so I'm going to show you how to do all of this. The first is let's set up a folder that gives me these drop down options. So first we're going to go to primary navigation. We're going to click this plus sign and we are going to select folder. Typically you're going to select a page or an index. Um, so we're going to select folder. And then here we're going to name it whatever we want to show up on our main navigation. So in this case it would be blog and you will see that it is going to show up right here in front of home and let's see here so we've got this folder basically what this means is any any page or any link that we add to this folder will then drop down from this so you can always add you know, if, if you're wanting to have a drop down that's not linked to a blog or something like that, you can always just add a page. You can add a page, um, you can add a cover page, you can add a product, gallery, all of these options here. But in this instance, since I'm just linking to a category, it's already created somewhere. We don't need to create a new page for this. It's already there. It's already out there in my blog. All I need to do is link it. So I'm going to click link. You're going to pop up here with link title and then the actual link. So I'm basically going to um, put here all of my categories. So the first one would be automation. Then you're going to click right here for the link. You're going to go over to content. You're going to click this drop down arrow for blog. So you're going to basically find your blog wherever it's at. Um, you're going to click. I've, I've got multiple blogs here. But this one is actually the one that I use for blog posts. So you're going to choose category and then you're going to click automation and just match up the category with the link title and you're going to push save. And then you're just going to do that for every category. So what you'll have is you'll have a folder that contains a bunch of different links. So you'll see now this one will, will have each, each drop down will, will come down on top of that. So um, that is pretty much it. Now I want to show you how you go about making the first, I'm going to scroll down to the one that's already active here. So this right here you'll see is actually this one with all the options. You'll see the options right here. Automation, business growth, mompreneurship. So each category is a separate link. And then here I'm going to click this gear going to pull up the settings for the folder. So navigation title is basically what shows up here in the navigation. So blog, home, about. Um, the page title is the same as that and then the slug um, is basically just the link to get there. Um, so this this would be you know sandrahouseman.com slash blog dash one. Um, but I want this link to be clickable and so a way to do that so when you actually click that it takes you to a different page 
and not the first drop down option is right here. It's this little tiny piece of code. Very simple. I'm going to have that code in the blog post. You can just copy that. You're going to paste it in this section. So here's the deal. Anything that goes right here, this is your slug, what they call the slug. This is the link to the page that you want it to go to. So if I wanted this link to go to my about page, my about page is sandrahausman.com slash about. So I would just type in about. Super simple. This right here is what actually shows up in the navigation. So right now it says blog. I'm going to show you. If I change this to um, blog example one, just so you can see what it changes to, we're going to click save. And you will see that it's going to change that navigation to say blog example one. And that is as simple as it is. So then when you click that, it's going to take you to the page that's in between these parentheses. So we want it to link just to my main blog page. And I just want it to say blog. So I'm going to take this out here. Oops. All right. And that's it. That's as easy as it is. And it gives you a nice pretty drop down with all of your categories. So someone who's on your page and they're thinking, yeah, I want to go to the blog, then they see this and they can see exactly what your blog is all about before they really dive into it. They can say, oh, so she focuses on automation, business growth, mompreneurship. Um, I share some personal stuff occasionally and some gross based tips. So they, if they are interested in something very specific, they can find that very easily. So that is it. I hope that's helpful for you and I um, let me know if